Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I have here a package from Hewlett Packard, which uh, just arrived, and I believe it should be the HP Pavilion DM1 laptop, which is, as you can see here, well, maybe you can't see it, but it's a 12.1 inch, uh, or is it, no, 11.6 inch uh, display, 1366 by 768 pixels. 3 gigs of RAM on this particular model, and an AMD E350 dual-core processor with uh, AMD Radeon HD 6300 graphics. So it should have a little bit more power than a typical Intel Atom-based system or something like that. Um, similar in some ways to an Intel CULV system, but with better graphics uh, power. So this is a demo unit. Uh, what's in the box might not look exactly like what you would get with a retail unit. We've got a power adapter here. brick. Battery, which is a 4700 or 4770 hour battery. Uh, I'm not really sure what the um, watt hour capacity is. 55 watt hours. So that's a six cell battery. Looks like, like something unexpected in here. Get it out. Yeah, it looks like they sent along for some reason a DVD burner, which uh, hadn't been expecting to review, but I guess I can test that out too. Is this just DVD or no? This is Blu-ray as well. So. Um, might be able to test the Blu-ray performance. I uh, don't actually have any Blu-ray discs in the house, but uh, maybe I'll grab one and see how it goes. Um, answers at your fingertips, quick start guide, bingo, get a free musical download. Some more quick start information. Kind of funky packaging here. And then finally, at the bottom, we've got the laptop. So let's get this out of the way. to look at the laptop itself. Looks like we're losing focus for some reason. Focus. So, uh, the laptop itself, fairly small, compact. We've got two USB ports, VGA, a combination mic and headphone jack, and an SD MMC card slot. Over here, looks like we've got a door. Should be able to open up for Ethernet. There we go. And that's actually on the curve, which makes it a sort of interesting position. The other side, we've got the power adapter, a key lock, a fan vent, some status LEDs, HDMI, and another USB port. So that's a total of three USB ports. Bottom. Sort of one big panel, doesn't appear to have any screws. Looks very similar to what you would get with an HP Mini 210, um, but it doesn't look like doesn't look like there's any simple way to just remove this panel by pushing buttons like you could on the 210. Um, you might have to pry it open if you wanted to get at uh, what's underneath. There's uh, what looks like a SIM card slot here that's blocked over, so there might be some 3G capable models here, and yeah, that's about it. The lid, it's a little bit dark in here right now, but there's a textured pattern on the lid that I think you can see in the right light here. Um, sort of uh, interlocking, I don't know if circles is the right word, but it's, uh, it's relatively attractive in a fairly small HP logo here. Up and keyboard is pretty much a full-size keyboard. Not quite full-size arrow keys here. You've got uh, these bunched up ones on the side, but a very large shift key on each side, enter, so forth. Um, function keys serve as multimedia keys for playback of uh, play, uh, rewind, pause, etc. Volume buttons, mute button, wireless toggle, and function key over here to change the purposes. This um, touchpad is sort of all one piece. 
You can click on the touchpad on the left or right side, but there's not a separate button here. There is a little raised area, though, so that you can feel with your fingertips when you move over from the sliding surface down to the tapping surface. But you can actually slide your fingers throughout the whole thing, and I believe you can support multi-touch gestures as well. The laptop has a webcam up here at the top, and power button, and that's about it. So let's go ahead and plug in this battery and see if it boots up. But first, let's put the battery in the correct way. Looks like it's powering up. And while we're waiting for that, just take a quick look here. This is the AMD C50 powered. Whoop. <laughs> now somebody didn't like that. Uh, this is the uh, Acer Aspire 522, which has a, a lower power processor, similar graphics, but less powerful graphics, and a smaller size. So this is a 10.1 inch uh, 1280 by 720 screen compared to the 11.6 inch 1366 by 768. And you can see the HP is bigger, but it's not really that much bigger. They're both pretty thin and light systems. And so you've got a high resolution display here. It looks like there's some custom HP software. The touchpad is reasonably responsive. I'm not a huge fan of the sort of integrated click pads here, but I'll give that a try as I uh, test this laptop over the next couple of days and weeks. And uh, yeah, so there you go. There's the computer properties. And so yes, we can confirm that we've got an AMD E350 1.6 gigahertz dual core processor, 64-bit operating system, Windows 7 Home Premium, uh, Windows Experience Index of 3.8. That's compared with a 2.8 on the Acer laptop here. Um, and the key difference really should be uh, the processor. This has a much more powerful processor. Um, in terms of graphics, uh, reasonable graphics, you've got 4.2 for desktop performance for Windows Arrow and uh, 3D uh, graphics for gaming and 3D business, <laughs> apparently, is uh, 5.7. So you should be able to do some uh, uh, modest gaming on here. I wouldn't necessarily expect to do some bleeding edge games, but we'll be running the 3D Mark uh, benchmark, Street Fighter 4 benchmark, and some others on it to see how it uh, stacks up against the competition. Uh, my guess is it's going to give you um, sort of premium uh, graphics performance but uh, overall CPU performance should be interesting too. And one of the things that I'll be most curious to see is how it handles uh, battery life. The uh, AMD E350 is an 18 watt processor by laptop processor standards. That's pretty low power, but it's uh, more than twice, well, about twice what you would expect from uh, an Intel Atom based chip or even the uh, C50 chip on the less powerful Acer laptop. So there you go. That's the uh, first look at the HP Pavilion DM1Z. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I'll have more information about this laptop soon at lilliputing.com.